Hello kids, welcome back to Learn with Maktum. So in this video, we are going to continue with the second standard EVS. So in the last video, we have completed the chapter one. And in this video, we are going to study chapter number two. The chapter name is Animal Rearing. What is the chapter name? Animal Rearing. So let's start the chapter so the first question comes into our mind is what is animal rearing animal rearing is raising of animals for their use or for pleasure or for profit so here what we are going to do is we are going to raise the animals maybe we want to take the use of the animals or it may be a pleasure of feeding them or pleasure of raising them or because of some profit you are going to raise them for example say you will be raising hen yes the chicken yeah which will be used for eggs as well as for the meat purpose yes as well as in some culture we will be raising the cow yes the uses will be like we can have milk yes that will be the use so the process where we are raising the animals is called animal rearing okay lesson number two animal rearing all the animals have assembled for a meeting so there is a small story so where all the animals have assembled for a meeting so what is that meeting let's see the lion says my daughter's birthday is next month how do you think we should celebrate it so lion's daughter's birthday is there in the next month so here the lion is asking to the other animals that how can we celebrate the birthday then one of the animals says oh king there is a shortage of grass in the forest there is no grass to eat then how can we celebrate a birthday so here one of the animal is saying that oh king so the grass in the forest is shortage now so there is not, nothing to eat. So how can we celebrate the birthday? We have no problem. Our owner gives us enough grass. So one more animal says, we have no problem. Our king will give the enough grass. We too don't have a problem. Though we are not looked after, we get grains in our place. So here one more animal is saying that we don't have any problem. We will getting we will be getting enough grains for us in our place. There will be no problem for the animals that live in the village, but there is no food any there is no food for animals in the forest. What shall we do? So here the two animals which spoke here no those are the animals which will be living in the village so the lion is saying the animals which lives in village they don't have any problem but the animals which are living in forest they are not having enough food so the snake says true we stay both in forest and town so we have no problem for food so there are some animals which will be staying in town as well as in forest so those animals don't have any problem for food it's time for the rains oh king of the forest the grass will grow very well so one of the animal the monkey will say that don't worry king it's time for rain so the grass will grow very well so the cheetah says, yes, if it rains, deer and bisons will get good food. Yes. 
Oh, you are feeling very happy. It is good for you if they grow fat, isn't it? Meow. Lion is the king for all of us. The birthday of the king's daughter should be celebrated on a grand scale. I can bring milk from my boss's house. So here the cat is saying that. So in cat will be getting milk from their owner. Yes. In the home you will, you will be giving milk to the cat. Yes. So here the milk here the cat is saying that I can bring milk from my boss's house. And the rabbit says, yes, I will decorate the forest. I will bring fruits for the celebration, the monkey says. Okay, all of you please listen. Let us not celebrate the birthday of my daughter this year. Let it rain. Let the grass grow. Let everybody eat well. Next year, let us celebrate in it in a grand scale. Let's end the meeting. So because in the forest there is not enough graph, not enough grass. So the lion decides we will not celebrate the birthday this year. Let us rain. Then we will, let us grow the grass. Then we will celebrate our daughter's birthday. Clear with this story? So here they are distinguishing between the animals which are living in village and living in forest. So let us see what they mean to say. Name the domestic and wild animals in the story. Write their name here. So here you can see the dog, cat, cow, ox, buffalo. These are the normal domestic animal. But they are saying you to write the domestic and wild animals in the story. So out of this, whichever animals you saw in the picture of the story. Out of them, any one of them if it is there, you can write that. Cow was there, yes. Cat was there, yes. Then wild animals, lion, tiger, elephant, cheetah and bear. So these are the, some of the wild animals which we saw in the story. Clear with this? Okay. Observe the animals given below. Write their name in the box given. So you have to observe them and write the name. First one is what? Cow. C O W cow. Then second one is tiger. T I G E R tiger. Then we have a dog. D O G dog. Then we have crow. C R O W crow. Then we have buffalo. B U double F a L O Buffalo. Then we have elephant. E L E P H A N T. Elephant. Okay. This one is sheep. S H double E P. Sheep. Then we have deer. D double E R. Deer. Then cat, C A T, cat. Snake, yes, and A K E, snake. Cock, C O C K. Cheetah, C H double E T A H, cheetah. Which of the animals from these pictures have you read in your house? Write them in the blank. So, out of these animals, whichever I told now, which animals do you have in your house? Means, which animals are you rearing in your house? You can write them in the blanks. So, the note to be made here is, the animals that are reared in our house are called domestic animals. So, what are domestic animals? The animals that are reared in our house are called as domestic animals. Okay, clear with this? Write the names of the animals which you have not reared but live in your house. Yes, there are certain animals which we are not rearing but they live in our house. For example, cockroach, yeah? Cockroach we did not rear but it lives in our house, yes? 
then mosquito yes they also live in our house lizard house fly all these we will not be rearing but still they live in our house we do not rear some animals but they live in our house okay look at the picture above match the domestic animals and match the domestic animals with village and wild animals with forest by drawing lines so here whichever animals are domestic they should be marked to village and whichever wild animals are there they should be marked to forest so first see the domestic animals here dog cow sheep cat cock and donkey all are domestic animals then the remaining all elements should be marked to what marked to the forest clear with this the animals that live in a forest are wild animals clear with that so by this you should be knowing what is domestic animal and what is wild animal domestic animals are the animals that can be reared in our house for example dog cat cow buffalo wild animals are the animals that lives in the forest for example lion tiger giraffe deer elephant clear with this kids okay moving on to look at the pictures above answer the following questions why do people rear buffaloes and oxen why do we rear dogs what are the uses of rearing sheep what do we get from hens so for all these it will be a homework for you people to think and help with the help of your parents try to answer these questions why do we so i hope you are going to answer these questions with the help of your parents okay so there is one more story kamala is fond of rabbits her mother has given a rabbit to her to rear kamala feeds the rabbit every day with the grass and pats it so there is a girl called as kamala she loves rabbits her mother has given rabbit to her for rearing okay salim has found a pigeon he looks after it very carefully he gives grains water and takes care of it so there is one more fellow called as salim he found, he has found a pigeon so he used to take care of the pigeon and he used to give grains water and take care of it pintu is lara's pet cat she gives him milk every day pintu rubs against lara's leg as soon as she comes from school why have kamala salim and lara reared the animals what is the use of rearing so for this the answer is animals are reared not only for use but also to love and pet them so this is the answer which they have given in the box this is the answer for those question animals are reared not only for the use but also to love and pet them okay look at these pictures if you feel it is correct put right mark in the box given if you feel it is incorrect put wrong mark so here a boy is beating animals so this is wrong it is incorrect to beat the animals we should love animals not beat animals so it is wrong way so here one person is giving grass to the cow yes he is feeding the animal it is good it is correct so here also in the third image also a girl is feeding birds yes it is also correct so here one fellow is making monkey to dance it is a wrong way of uh, doing this thing like whatever we want that we are making we are making profit out of the monkey so that is wrong 
then here also a person is trying to catch birds with the net it is also wrong then here a girl is carrying cat yes it is right clear this observe the pictures and answer the questions how do you keep your domestic animals clean yes we should take them for bath yes we should clean the animals regularly okay what do you do if domestic animals that are in your house fall ill we should contact the veteran okay we should contact the person who knows well about domestic animals if who is an animals doctor that is a veteran okay what type of food do you give to domestic animals that are in your house maybe grass some grains and water yes we we should look after the animals affectionately why because we are using them we are getting profit out of them yes and we should take care of them yes we should love them we should not beat them yes so they are the animals which are giving us happiness as well as profit yes so we should love them and we should take care of them understood kids so i hope you understand about wild animals and domestic animals and i hope you can identify which is a domestic animal and which is a wild animal so this is all about this chapter that is animal rearing so i hope you like this video and i'm going to see you in the next video with the next chapter thank you for watching bye bye